Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today I want to talk about the new input system and the starter assets provided by Unity. And don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload to my channel. And while you're down there, maybe drop a like or a comment. So the new input system has been around for a couple of years now and I've been playing with it on and off uh, for various reasons. And same with the new starter assets, they've been around for a little bit, uh, but there is a bit of a story behind them. So, as the name would suggest, the starter assets are for starting out, perhaps for beginners. And the problem I have with them is that they're not as user-friendly or beginner-friendly as the old standard assets. So if you've used the standard assets previously, you'll know that, for example, you could just download them, drag and drop the first-person controller into a scene, and off you go. You're wandering around, you've got your little head bob, your steps, everything. The issue I have with the starter assets for the first-person controller is simply this. You cannot import it into Unity without some additional things required. So for example, we're just gliding here. There's, there's nothing going on. We're just gliding. It's just, no, it's just not very good. Like I said, you need some extra coding required to actually have footstep sounds in there. And to be honest, that's not very beginner friendly, but that's where it brings me onto the new input system. Now, it's innovative in some respects, but the problem is it's just not user friendly or beginner friendly once again. Now, I do like this, the fact you're able to visually see what the input is. And the old system was a case of it was all C-sharp coding. For example, you'd have input dot get button down and then whatever button, but I think that's better. Now, I say I do like this, how this is all visualized. However, the way it used to be done is far superior in my eyes. This is just over-engineering something for the sake of over-engineering something. This does not help anybody, if I'm honest. Now, it looks good. It looks cool. It looks like it might be easy, but it isn't. It's not. A beginner would not understand how to use this, whereas a beginner could look up a little line of code and understand what that line of code does. Now, if you are using the new input system, it disables the old input system, which is backwards in my eyes. It doesn't give you user freedom to pick whichever system you want to use. And I think that is a negative impact on the engine itself. So let's take a look at the third person controller. This is where I think it does stand out a little bit more than the standard assets. So if we go to the scene that they've created for this starter asset, remember there is a difference between starter and standard assets. So the starter assets are the newer ones. The standard assets are the older ones. So if we walk here, we actually have footsteps. And honestly, I think this system is better than the standard assets. So I will give them credit for that. However, it is the first person controller, which a lot of people would use more than the third person controller. And as I said, my issue with that is it's not very user friendly. You can't just drag and drop this capsule anymore like you could with previous assets. You have to bring in everything else. Now, a beginner would not understand that. So why am I making this video? Well, I'm making this video because I get a lot of questions asking me, why do I not use the new input system? Why do I not use the starter assets? The answer is they suck in my opinion. They're terrible, they're not very good. New does not mean best. Old does not mean dead. That's the problem here. People always assume that something new is better, but in this case, I don't think it is. Most of my tutorials usually follow the standard assets for beginners. However, going forward, I may end up using the starter assets and the new input system, but for all intents and purposes, for personal projects, I won't use them. I don't like them. I think they are terrible. They are innovative, or they could be much more innovative if Unity actually put the effort in to make these more beginner friendly. Don't forget, Unity wants to bring in people to the Unity engine, not exclude them. And I feel these starter assets and the new input system excludes people. They're catered more for people who are maybe an intermediate level. And that's where I want to bring my summary to this. If you are new to Unity, do not be under the mindset that new is best. And that is very evident when it comes to the engine itself. I'm in the firm mind that any version up to maybe 2020 is a pretty good engine. 
The engines after that, so far as I'm making this video, are a little subpar. The perfect engine for me was around 2018.4 to 2019.4. Somewhere around there is a good engine to use. And like I said, new does not mean best. So do not be under the impression that just because these new starter assets are out, that they're better than the old standard assets because they really, really aren't. If you want to use the new input system and the new starter assets, I would actually recommend starting with the old ones because they are far superior. These starter assets and input system, I think are catered towards intermediate level people. So once you've maybe got the experience a bit more in Unity, then perhaps move yourself up a little bit and start investing in that world of the starter assets. But as I said, whenever I'm asked the question, why don't I use the input system? because I don't think it's very good. I think the old way in standard C sharp is the best way of doing it. I feel that gives you much more control. Yes, the new input system gives you much more visibility on your controls, but it requires much more than just this. And a beginner would not know that. So what do you guys think about this whole system that Unity have created with the input? Is it better? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Every opinion is valid, remember that. Every single opinion is valid. So whatever I say, you may disagree with. That's completely fine. But let me know why you disagree with me. Hopefully, guys, I will see you in another one of my videos. Take care.